Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the SIG P226 and I've got some questions for you. Really looking for your feedback. Let's take a few shots. Love the P226. This is a Talo exclusive model. I, I've had it for a while. It's a, uh, well I have an 18 round Metgar mag in here, but a great handgun. And the P226 has been around for a long time. A lot of people love it, a lot of people respect it. But the feedback that I need from the viewers of this channel is the question, is this worthy to be in a best nine millimeter handgun compilation? Now, before you say, yes, I love the P226 and click off, Please hear me out because this is the premise behind this video. I plan to do a compilation that involves the best metal frame, double action, single action pistols out there. And I have the Shadow 2, I have the 92X Performance, I'm working on getting the A-Rex Alpha. I also am working on getting a Tanfolio Witness Match 2. All of those have steel frames, they're double action, single action, all regarded as some of the best nine millimeter handguns out there. And I'll have a MSRP right around $1,500. The Arex Alpha is a bit less. This is not quite in the same category in terms of steel frames. The other ones have closer to five inch barrels. This has a 4.4 inch barrel, but I'm trying to come up with five of the best. And I'm wondering if you feel this P226 would fit well into the category that I just spoke about. Now, a lot of people love the P226. It has an aluminum frame here. This is the SRT, short reset trigger. It's an ASC model, Alloy Stainless Elite. It's a Talo exclusive. It's a beautiful handgun. A lot of high praises every time I bring it out, but is it of the same class? And not only that, but will it complement the video? Will the video actually be better if I include this P226 in that compilation review? Or is there something else out there that I did not mention that would, would make even a better choice? Now, when I do compilation videos, they are time consuming, they are expensive, they are mind boggling sometimes to, to come up with the, the words to describe guns of such a caliber. Um, I'm okay in that regard, but I wanna get the best. Now, there are other handguns out there. Ooh, my arm's getting tired. <laughs> there are other handguns out there, but they're of the $2,500 range, $2,000. I'm not gonna do that. I wanna stick around the $1,500 range. I like the metal frame, double action, single action, and that's what I'm going for. Will this complement that review? Will it make it a better review because the P226 was added? That's the question I have for you. I have a lot of respect for the knowledge of the people who watch this channel. I learn a ton and I want to get that feedback and make a decision. Plus it'll be easier because I already have it. So I don't have to go acquire anything else. That's what I'm asking for. I respect you guys in the highest degree. And that's, I'm just gonna end it there. That's my video. So. Help me out with this one. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.